Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform repairs safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. The refrigerator compressor is a part of a sealed system that pumps refrigerant through the condenser and evaporator coils to cool the refrigerator's compartments. To cycle the compressor on and off, the appliance relies on a compressor start device to provide power to the compressor start and run windings. Once the compressor is running, the start device will discontinue voltage to the start winding, leaving the run winding in the circuit when the refrigerator's temperature control calls for cooling. If the start device is defective, the compressor may fail to cycle properly or may not work at all. Compressor start devices are usually unique to each refrigerator model. You should enter the full model number of your appliance in our website search bar to find the specific start device you need. Before you replace the component, be sure to unplug the refrigerator's power cord. Start devices are attached to the compressor near the bottom of the appliance behind a rear access panel. To move the refrigerator away from the wall, you may need to remove the base grill and raise the front leveling legs. Roll the appliance forward. On some models, you will need to detach a water supply line from the inlet valve before you can remove the access panel. Shut off the water supply. Unthread the screw securing the water supply line retainer to the rear panel, if applicable. Then use a half-inch wrench or an adjustable wrench to unthread the compression nut to detach the supply line. Be prepared for some water to spill. Unthread the screws securing the access panel and set the panel aside. You may need to detach a retainer securing the start device to the compressor. On some models, you will need to remove a cover to access the device. Detach the device from the compressor motor, then disconnect the wires or the wire connector. Some start devices work in conjunction with a run capacitor that you will need to detach from the old device. When installing a new start device, you may want to first attach the run capacitor, if applicable, before connecting the wire connector or the wires. Align the start device with the compressor motor pins and push the device into place. Replace the cover if necessary. Secure the cover or components with the retainer as required. Reinstall the access panel. If necessary, reattach the water supply line to the inlet valve by threading the compression nut. Avoid over-tightening the nut. Slide on the retainer, if applicable, and secure it with the screw. Roll the refrigerator back against the wall. If applicable, lower the front leveling legs until they are in contact with the floor. Replace the base grill as necessary. With the repair completed, turn the water supply back on if needed. Plug the power cord back in and the refrigerator should be ready for use.